happy Monday. I'm Coach Amy. Today, I just want to dive back in and fix my own the differences compared to five I thought it was hard, but it was like five years ago. started. I'm Coach Amy. If you guys are new to me, I'm a mindfulness based coach and a coach. I'm a coach. Requires you to slow down, 
while you're eating, savor that food, have more mindfulness in the process. So there is a lot of mindfulness involved in intuitive eating because you want to stop when you're full. And that's just a general good um, habit to develop. And so part of that means uh, honoring your hunger, which is that too. Uh, don't ignore that hunger because it's going to persist and it's going to grow to a big green monster. And then you're going to eat everything and anything and maybe not, you know, you're not make the best decision for your body and end up feeling icky, right? So that's, that's a mindfulness too, is learning how that food makes you feel. The sixth um, step in the intuitive eating process is to discover satisfaction factor. What is satisfying to your body? Uh, and what feels nourishing? What And that turns into really um, paying attention. Am I feeling really sleepy? I, I was uh, I'm coaching multiple times. People, when they start paying attention to the way different foods make them feel, it's very enlightening to them. And they naturally want to make those choices that, that fuel their body and give them more energy and not the ones that make them want to go take a nap, go have sleepy guy. Um, the seventh step is honor your feelings without using food. So it does incorporate your emotions and being able to sit in your emotions. And, and that may look like a different different ways for you that might mean developing communication skills, but the two to be process doesn't necessarily focus on that mindfulness piece of it as, it, as, as much as mindful eating does. Um, however, you want to always honor your emotions um, and, and learn to use food to nourish your body and find other means to deal with your emotion, other coping strategies. To, to deal and process and work through problems, problem solve, develop that growth mindset. I did another video on that. I will link above as well. And then the eighth thing is respecting your body. So there's a lot of different aspects in that. Respecting your body's messages, your signals tuning in that requires a lot of mindfulness. And then nine, exercise. Feel the difference when you exercise and how it changes your energy, changes your appetite, changes the way you digest your food. And then the tenth one is honor your health. And um, again, there's lots of podcasts about intuitive eating that you can listen to. A lot of people really resonate and, and lean towards intuitive eating, while other people really go towards the mindfulness. And again, it's going to be based on what works for you. So with these ten principles underpinning the basis of intuitive eating, it basically defines it as a method of eating for those of people who have tried the different diets and, and, and just been on the yo-yo dieting, because it's about teaching that mentality. Both of these practices are really about creating a healthy relationship with your food. So an interesting take on the differences between these two approaches is that the point of intuitive eating is to get physically healthier and improve your relationship with food. And any psychological benefit is a happy byproduct, while mindful eating really, on the other hand, is about improving your psychological health through mindfulness practices that start with your food and then spill over into the rest of your life. And it's um, so that you begin to bring mindfulness and thoughtfulness around your unhealthy links with food, the unhealthy relationship with food, and any physical benefits or happy side effects. So intuitive eating um, is about ditching the diet and getting healthier. And mindful eating it's really just a perspective shift. They're so very similar, but mindful eating has a lot more mindfulness practices built into it. Again, I'll link the, the series that I did on that. Thank you for tuning in with me, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with some more mindfulness practice. Bye for now.